This video is in collaboration with Caribbean Crypto and they'll take you through how to create an NFT with Rarible. If you'd like to find out more information about Caribbean Crypto, NFTs or Rarible, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. Hi everyone, this is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. Now, if you are an aspiring artist, whether you're a musician or you make digital art, then this video may be for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own NFTs on the Rarible platform. Now, NFT stands for non-fungible tokens. These are unique tokens that live on Ethereum blockchain or any other blockchain in the future that supports them. Now, when you as an artist decide to mint your work as an NFT, what you are essentially doing is creating a digital certificate that proves that you are the original owner of that artwork. And when you as an artist decide to sell your work as an NFT, what you're actually doing is giving your customers, your fans, direct access to buying from you. No middlemen involved. And when someone does decide to buy your work as an NFT, what you're doing is transferring secondary ownership over to them. And the beautiful thing about NFTs is that even if that person decides to resell your artwork, you can still earn commission on your work in perpetuity. That's the beauty of the blockchain. Everything is transparent and a complete history is always kept of every transaction. Now we have many great artists here in the Caribbean. But not many of them know about this kind of platform, not many of them know about cryptocurrency in general. So this particular video is going to be brief in nature, but I'm going to show you how you as an artist can mint your own NFTs on the Rarible platform. Now here I have an example of one artist who was able to do it on her own. This is Tatiana, she's a musician and she minted her first NFT only one day ago. Now this is an NFT of her playing her guitar. Now Tatiana created a one-of-a-kind NFT, a one-of-one one NFT, and she uploaded it only yesterday and was able to sell that NFT for one Ethereum, which at the current price is around 2,100 US dollars. The person that bought it, if they decide to sell it, Tatiana will receive 20% commission on any resale of her artwork, and I'm sure she's happy about that. Now here I have another piece of digital art. This one is by a local Barbadian artist by the name of Shade Payne and the title is Andromeda Hughes. Well, Shade is a local Barbadian digital artist and this particular piece Andromeda Hughes depicts the famous Andromeda Botanical Gardens. However, the wildlife in this video is a bit fanciful as we don't really have deers in Barbados, but it was a nice piece to look at nonetheless. Now Shade has agreed to allow me to mint her artwork as an NFT for the purpose of this video. So let's head over to Rarebird and I'll walk you through the process. Well, the first thing you want to do is ensure your MetaMask wallet is connected. Then you go to the top right hand corner of the website and click create. Here you have two options, you can create a single NFT or you can create multiple NFTs. In my opinion, it's better to select multiple. That way you can still create one NFT if you want or you can create more than one NFTs for that same piece of artwork. Now the first thing you're going to do is upload your NFT. You click choose file and please remember that you have a size limit of 30 megabytes. Once the window opens, you select the file from your computer and here you should see your NFT displayed. Now once you scroll down the page, you will see another box where you can upload your cover for your NFT. Click open, select the cover art and your cover art should be on the page as well. Now Rarible automatically assumes that you want to sell your item, so that first option is already checked for me. But you can set an instant sell price for your item. That will be an exact price that you're willing to sell it at on the open market. In this case, I'm going to sell this artwork for 0.25 Ethereum. Now, if you have any other content that you will let your buyers to have once they make a purchase, then you will select that option. This will allow for you to paste maybe an address where you can share a link to your Dropbox or Google Drive folder that they can download additional content, but I'm gonna leave that unchecked for now. 
Now when it comes to minting, you have two options. You can create your own collection, and that is creating your own ERC-1155 token, or you can just mint it on Rarible itself. In this case, we're gonna select Rarible, and I'm gonna give my token a name. I told you before, it's Andromeda Hughes, and the description I said earlier will suffice. Now, I can set the royalties that Shade will receive. In this case, he's gonna get 10% for every resale, and I'm gonna create about 25 copies of this NFT. Now, as it comes to properties, this will be any additional information that you want to mention about the artwork itself, such as the name of the artist, the length of the video file, or even the size of the file itself. Remember, whatever you add here cannot be changed unless you delete and re-admit the file. So please be very careful what you write and how you write it. So all that's left to do now is to go and click create item. Now this should cause my MetaMask wallet to open up. And I have three transactions that I have to confirm. The first transaction is to allow me to access the Rarible platform and it's going to cost me around $12.46. Once that is done, the second transaction is about minting the token itself. Now minting tokens does not come without a cost. The Ethereum blockchain is quite congested and the gas fees are quite high right now. This particular token is going to cost me $57.71, but I'm going to click confirm. And once that's done, the last transaction is a simple signing transaction where I will click confirm once more and sign. And now my NFT has been minted to the Rarible platform. And it should take a few seconds for it to appear. Now if you look on the right, you see some other NFTs that I own, but these are not artwork or music. These are actual crypto domain names. But let's go back to see Shadi's artwork. This is what I should see and what others should see when they visit my page. And this is the address that owns the artwork. And as you can see, she gets a 10% commission if it is sold. So here you have it. I have successfully minted an NFT to the Rarible platform. Now I did do this on behalf of someone else, but I do hope that after watching this video, you are able to do it on your own. Now if you did like the video and you learned something, feel free to like, share and subscribe. I want to thank you all for watching.